and welcome to fourth week at the Oxford Union where we're delighted to be joined this evening by Charles Clover. Um, I'm just going to ask you three questions um, and if you could give me some answers to, for the benefit of our YouTube channel that would be fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so when was it that you knew what you wanted to do? Um, <laughs> well, uh, I'm not sure I, I still know what I want to do. Um, <laughs> I, I, I kind of fell into journalism I think. Um, just because uh, I was working for a, a, an oil company and decided that I hated it and um, found that all of the people I was working with read the newspapers and took the newspapers very seriously and I thought this seemed like a very interesting way to communicate with, um, with people um, and, and, and be influential and have a voice and I think I'm, I'm very glad I made the change. I mean, that was sort of a job right out of college, and um, I could have gone one way with my life. Um, and I'm very glad I took this path. It doesn't necessarily pay as well as working for a big oil company, but um, uh, it's an absolutely wonderful way to live, and it's a chance to constantly make a difference in things that you care about. Absolutely. Well, you've traveled the world with your work. Um, which of the many countries that you worked in do you think has been the most interesting? The most interesting, um, well, for all the wrong reasons, was Iraq. Um, it was, um, I, I spent uh, about a year and a half there, all told, and um, uh, I mean, I'd never seen a country been completely destroyed and rebuilt before. Uh, and it still hasn't really completely been rebuilt, but to see um, on an intellectual level what happened and then on a human level what happened and to constantly kind of be switching in and out of frames of reference between you know you're with the American soldiers and you're seeing everything through their eyes and it looks completely different when you're with them than it does when you're with just your Iraqi driver and his family or something things look much different um, and I think I learned a lot an awful lot about the world um, living there, um, and it wasn't it wasn't great lessons to be honest. It was a lot of very pessimistic things. But um, in terms of interesting and learning, I think that was the that place beats everything else. Yeah, absolutely. Well, in terms of um, learning, what's in the Oxford Union? What do you think about the Oxford Union so far? Um, so far, I mean, it's an absolutely beautiful building, uh, wonderful people, very charming. <laughs> um, uh, I understand people who, uh, who are part of the union go on to have great political careers, so yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a great place to meet the, the future movers and the shakers, I guess. We'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll see. I have no doubt. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, no. Um, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, I think Oxford in general is just one of these places where learning and erudition and um, knowledge are valued for its own sake, and I think those places are very few, and it's very nice to be in places like that. I feel very much at home. Excellent. Well, thank you very, very much for joining us here today, and we're really, really looking forward to your speech. Well, thank you.